this video I'm going to show you how to set up disconnect protection with Loopy SRT Stats Monitor or Loopy. If you're new to my channel, this is part of a video series where I'm covering what I use for IRL live streaming. This includes the gear where when I'm out in the field, mobile phone app, sending the video from my main phone back to my computer at home, adding custom alerts and overlays, and finally chat commands to start and stop a stream to Twitch. With that alone, you've got more than enough to take over the IRL live streaming world, except for one thing. What happens when your mobile connection goes down? In most cases, your stream will end, you'll lose viewers, and your Twitch account will have multiple VODs every time you dis disconnect and try to reconnect again. With that intro out of the way, let's get into things. Firstly, open OBS Studio with the scenes and settings we entered in another video. Then download and extract the portable version of Loopy, and OBS WebSocket HTTP. Links in the description. Save the OBS WebSocket HTTP exe file into the same folder as Loopy. Please note this is a standalone app for Loopy and is different from the WebSockets you installed for OBS. Your antivirus software might remove some of the files, so just Google how to exclude them from being deleted. If you open Loopy now, you'll get a blue error screen. That's because we need to configure the settings. Open the config file using a plain text editor like Notepad. At the top you'll notice there's this mention of the readme text file which describes all the settings but we're going to focus on what's important for now. Firstly we're going to replace scene OK with our webcam scene in OBS. This is the scene OBS will switch to when everything's OK for our connection. Keep in mind the value in Loopy for scene OK needs to match the scene name in OBS word for word. So we'll select the scene in OBS, press F2, Control C to copy the scene name and paste that in the config file where scene OK equals main. It should now say scene OK equals webcam. Do the same for scene intro equals intro, which should now be scene intro equals starting soon. We can skip scene fail equals BRB because our scene in OBS is also called BRB. Replace media source one equals media source for our media source in OBS. Our setup has only one camera, so we can leave media source two as is. Next up, we're going to need our WebSocket settings in OBS. Make sure your WebSocket server is enabled and then click on the show connect info button. Back in the config file, find the WebSocket address. Check if the IP address 127.0.0.1 and port 4455 numbers are the same as your connect info. If they're different in OBS, copy the server IP from the connect info settings. Back in the config file, select only the IP address number, not the port for WebSocket address. Press Ctrl H to carefully find and replace the value 127.0.0.1 with your server IP. Do this line by line to make sure you're replacing only the server IP and nothing else. Scroll back to the top and do the same for a server port from the connect info settings. And finally, find and replace passws with your server password. Control S to save your setting. Let's try reopening Loopy to see if it works. And if all goes to plan, OBS will switch to your starting soon scene. And that, my friends, concludes this series of videos covering what I use for IRL live streaming. But I'm not done with this topic. I think there's a few more things we could cover. If you have any questions as well, please let me know. I'll do my best to answer those. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.